Good morning guys, it is Monday today, so happy Monday. I've been away at the coast for the last few days. I got home yesterday, and so today we have we have a bit of a long to-do list, and that's okay. I'm pretty sure we can get it all done, but I thought it would be fun to film a complete my to-do list vlog with you guys. I love filming these. They definitely motivate me. I hope they motivate you guys too. For some reason, they just make my to-do list so much more interesting. So let's write our to-do list for the day. That would be helpful. First thing I need to do today is grocery shop. Then I need to prep the fruit and veg that I buy. Just make sure it's in airtight containers and all that sort of stuff. I need to wash a load of clothes. I also need to fold a load of clothes that are already dry. I just need to put them away. I need to water the plants because I usually do that on the weekend, but I was away, so I didn't get to do that. I need to edit my weekly vlog or finish editing it. I've started, but I just need to finish it. I also need to do the thumbnail for that one. Oh, I can't spell. I also wanna do any final small businesses, perch, business purchases. I can't talk while I type. My brain just doesn't comprehend. I'm doing a small business like gift guide and I think I've got almost everything. There's just like a couple last things I wanna get. I wanna go to my PO box because I know I have some packages there. Um, I need to do my emails. Just a classic Monday job or a classic everyday job really. And if I get time, I would really like to wash my makeup brushes. I think that's our main to-do list. Right now it is 7.45 in the morning. So I've just kind of had my normal morning routine. So I think what I'm gonna do is get a start on my emails and maybe do a tiny bit of editing and then I'll head off to go grocery shopping. So let's get started. Just going home from grocery shopping. I won't give you guys a full grocery haul, but I'll give you a quick overview. We have all of our fresh produce, all of our fruit and veggies. We have some milks. I have some canned corn. I wanna make corn fritters this week. I'm also gonna do like a tomato-based pasta. Bread, eggs, cheeses for that pasta some frozen fruit and veg cream for the pasta and some caramel dark chocolate. I had this last weekend when I was away with the girls and I hadn't tried it before that, but it was really good. So I decided to get some for myself, but that is everything for the week. I just wanted to make a snack because I was feeling kind of hungry but like not super hungry and I've been loving smoothies lately because they're just so easy. Today's smoothie is like a choc berry peanut butter smoothie. I use the My Vegan Vegan Protein Blend in chocolate. Just your classic chocolate protein. So good. I have actually officially transitioned to My Vegan and My Protein products. I've been trying them out for the last little while and I'm obsessed. I love them. So I'm super excited to be working with them. And if you guys want to try them out for the first time as well, 
well, now is the perfect time because they've actually given me a 50% off code. So this is their best sale of the year. I will continue to have discount codes, which will usually be 35% off, but right now my code will give you 50% off. So I definitely recommend taking advantage of that. My code is just Rachel C. I'll put it on the screen and I'll also link my vegan in the description below so you can go straight to their website and check out all of their stuff. I've actually also been trying out their BCAAs. I like sneakily mentioned these in a vlog, I don't know, maybe a week or two ago. I said I was trying out some new BCAAs and loving them. If you don't know what BCAAs are, they're just really good for hydration purposes. So, so you can drink them whenever, but it's also really good to drink them while you work out. And it's also really fun because this one in particular is raspberry lemonade flavor. And it genuinely tastes like raspberry lemonade. And I'm not gonna lie, it just makes drinking water feel so much more fun. And it's good for you, so you can't go wrong. So definitely recommend that as well. But I'm gonna go keep drinking this, get some more things ticked off my to-do list, and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. lunch and now I'm gonna head off to the PO box. I find like 1 p.m. kind of like the best time to go because it seems like it's a lot less busy and there's no traffic so let's go. Got my packages I'm pretty sure almost every single one of them is for my small business haul except for this one which is from Compassion Australia. And this one is super exciting because Liam and I decided to sponsor a child. Hopefully there is a photo in here oh my gosh this is our sponsor child his name is PJ he just turned three years old he lives in the Philippines and he's gonna be our little buddy that we get to watch grow up I guess and support as much as we can so they've just sent through heaps and heaps of info about how compassion works so that is just super exciting I can't wait to write him a letter I mean he's literally three years old so I don't know how much he'll really care right now but it'll be so nice that we get to kind of watch him grow up so that kind of just made my day honestly i was about to drive home and then i was like you know what i'm gonna do a little drive by of a property i may or may not have my eye on liam and i may or may not be moving not like super soon but like at some point and i saw this rental pop up and it looked really really nice so i wanted to just do a drive by and like see what the kind of like neighborhood looked like and what the property looked like from the outside it looks really nice it is next to a building site though and one of the reasons i don't love where we live right now is the amount of construction that's going on. So I don't know, but it might be worth booking an inspection to like see what it looks like inside. Cause obviously I'm like looking at the photos right now, but it's just very different going and looking at properties in person. Sometimes the photos can make them look significantly better, significantly bigger. I'm not sure. I'll keep you guys updated though. Did you guys hear that? I think there's a storm coming. So as soon as I got home from having a look at that property, literally as soon as I got home, I got a text from that real estate saying that that property was no longer available. So never mind, I guess. We'll find a better one, I'm sure.
Krispy Kremes. Do you want to go get Krispy Kremes? Do you, you want to go get Kris Krispy Kremes? Now the next day, I forgot to end off the vlog yesterday, but I was just looking over my to-do list and we were pretty successful. The only things I didn't do was wash my makeup brushes and the other thing was the small business purchases. I had a look and I like half did that one, but I just didn't quite finish it. So overall, a very successful day, I think, a very productive day. Hopefully this has given you a bit of contagious productive energy and maybe you'll feel like you want to smash out a bunch of stuff as well but i hope you enjoyed this vlog i always love filming these like i said at the start they just make me feel so not inspired i guess just motivated yeah motivated and i feel like i'm always more productive when i film it i hope you guys have a great day or night whenever you're watching this and i will see you in my next one very soon goodbye